What's up guys, it's Chad here with Juvie's coming to you from my driveway today. If you've been following the channel, you know behind me is my 2020 Ram 2500 Power Wagon. It is that time where I have to reapply some ceramic coating to my leather interior. So stay tuned right after this and I'm going to go over what I use and the best techniques to get the best results. Stay tuned. First things first, I'm going to go over exactly what I'm going to be using for this job. All right, the main ceramic coats or the product is going to be this uh, Gion Leather Coat Q2. All right, this is what's going to be the top coat over everything, okay? Um, to clean the leather, you have to clean the leather before you apply a ceramic coat to it, okay? I use PNS Express Interior Cleaner. And I agitate it with a coarse hair soft bristled brush. And obviously you're going to need a few microfiber towels. So uh, let's go in the truck and uh, see exactly what uh, we got going on. Here is the interior of my Ram Power Wagon. It is the black on black. The whole headliner is black. Seat leather is obviously black. Power Wagon. Alright, so essentially what I'm going to be putting the, uh, the Coat Q2 on is going to be all the seats. Okay. The flip up center console. Alright, obviously the seat bottom there. Alright, I'm also going to be doing the whole dashboard. Um, it is um, obviously it's a black dash. Um, I live in North Carolina. This truck lives outside, so it is good to protect your dash so it doesn't fade, crack, etc. First thing you need to do, alright, obviously I keep the inside of this pretty decently clean, um, but if you don't, um, I don't know if you can see, but in the crevices here, you do see a little bit of just, just random debris, so maybe some sand, something in here. Get that out before you guys uh, go ahead and put the coating on. Just try to get all the sand, the dirt out. Um, so here we go. Once you're confident, you got majority of all the dirt that's on the actual leather itself, the first thing we're gonna do is clean the leather. You don't just wanna put down a coat over top of dirt. So again, I use this stuff right here. I've been using this for years, I love it. So I just come over here, make sure it's on the uh, spray. Just go ahead and give it a nice little spray around, just like so. You can get these brushes cheap from anywhere. Harbor Freight, AutoZone, or Amazon. I don't know if you can see this, but this this technique right here works up a good lather. I'm sorry if the camera's shaking. I'm kind of holding holding it with one hand and scrubbing with the other. So you want to get in all the crevices. Make sure you get all the uh, stitch lines. Again, these seats aren't super dirty from the get go. But again, if they were, if these seats are disgusting, um, I'd probably go a different route first, but since these are not that bad, um, that's what I did. All right, that's just for a demonstration. Take your microfiber and just, you know, wipe her down. That's normally how I just straight up clean the seats, um, you know, in between coatings and things. All right. I mean, that's a pretty clean seat right there. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna do everything in here that way so next step once you get the whole area you want cleaned so i clean this whole seat with the uh interior cleaner next step is going to be applying the leather coat itself all right per the instructions they want you to spray the product onto a clean dry microfiber towel and spread it evenly like that um, due to the fact that I got one free hand, obviously you're supposed to shake it well too. One free hand, I'm just going to lightly mist it onto the surface. It does not take a lot, just like a normal ceramic coating for your paint. Alright, so there's the product on there. Kind of has a nice, you know, wet look to it. Alright, you're going to wipe. 
All right, you see how now it has, it looks shiny? So it says on the instructions, spread evenly over the whole area, okay? So I'm, I'm trying my best to do nice uh, cross hatch method, which is, you know, back, front, up and down, just like so. All right. Once you get that done, it says let sit for two to four hours to dry. Um, but as you can see, the leather looks like it has a nice shine to it. And it actually feels a lot slicker than it used to. So I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but from a protection standpoint, I believe you want it to be slick just like the paint. I'm just going to do a little quick uh, before and after. Um, this is obviously my console. Of all the leather in this front area of the truck, this is probably the area that gets the most dirty. Obviously, you know, you put your drinks and stuff in here. Um, you put your elbows and arms on here. Um, I do have a golden retriever that literally puts his head right here and just drools onto this. So I'm going to do a little before and after. And hopefully this uh, ceramic coat will actually keep it, uh, all the drool and stuff from sticking. I can just wipe it off a little easier. Here is kind of like a side-by-side -side comparison. Uh, this side right here was coated. This side was not. So obviously there's a line here where the product did not get okay that's kind of a clear indication of what it's actually going to look like it's the q2 actually does add a good amount of uh gloss black to it it's obviously not paint but it does kind of bring the the black back all right so what we got here is just some uh h2o i know that says dirty jobs this is just an old bottle for my wife i just put water in it all right, I'm just going to spray it on one side, spray it on this side. Don't know if you can see, I've already kind of done a little test on this. Um, this water right here has a lot more beading going on than that over there. Got beading and no beading. Let's see what else I can show you. All right. All right, that traveled really well. All right, and then watch over here. All right, I know that wasn't very scientific. Uh, I don't have my compressor with me today, but uh, this right here does a lot better than that. I give it two thumbs up. I went through the entire truck, front section. The back is a mess. I have three kids that uh, reside back there. Um, this Q2... I mean, I did the dash, I did uh, the, the console here, it adds a lot of shine and slickness to the leather. It, it feels like a ceramic coat should. Um, like I said, I got that over there as well. It makes the leather look brand spanking new. Uh, this truck is a 2020. Um, it does, like I said, it uh, doesn't fit in the garage, so it is outside all the time. So. Um, this isn't the first time I use this product. Um, I use it pretty much every six months to a year. Uh, a lot of the other truck needs to be detailed, obviously, but uh, this stuff is great. Well, this is the conclusion of my review on the Leather Coat Q2. I know throughout this whole process, I kept referring to it as a ceramic coating. Um, this is actually marketed as a SiO2 infused uh, leather coating. So yes, it is a ceramic to a degree. The uh, uh, Guyon, or however you say it, does actually have a full ceramic coat for the leather. This is more of kind of like a light ceramic, if you'd say. But the application is super simple. The results are great. Like I said, I really do this kind of once a year. Just wipe down all my leather with this product. And you guys saw my leather. It is actually doing really well. Um, like I said, this truck is now three years old. Um, it has black interior and it does stay outside all of its life except for when I bring it in here to do any detailing, which is not that often. All right, guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, have a great weekend. Bye.